All right, hey guys, we're back. Another tutorial here, and um, you can see we have a very strong headwind here. Um, that's the one instance where I might possibly deviate from going over to this left method. I do think I can still get over there. Um, it is going to probably be a better angle if I do get over there, so I'm probably still going to try it. What you're going to see me do is I'm going to, you know, play the ten rings, and we're just going to kind of max everything out here, and that should be good enough to hopefully get it over there into that fairway. I just barely have to trickle it in, and I did did get it to do that. Um, keep in mind if you do go out about trying to do this especially with a uh, you know a, a shorter driver like mine that uh, you do need to probably have a power three ball on expect probably definitely a kingmaker to make your life a little bit easier because your uh, approach shot is now going to become much longer um, we, we are going to barely be able to it, the way that we're going about doing this is, is basically just kind of conceding any possible real possibility of albatross and just trying to play position to um, give herself a good chance to easily get that eagle because this second shot is now going to be extremely hard here you can see we're going to have to do it with max power which is going to make us uh, you know what I'm what I'm going to try to do is maybe focus on this be my landing zone which means I'm going to have to come up here maybe about five six rings kind of like this and we're gonna go at this very maxed um, and almost able to get my perfect ball at the very least you should be able to see a decent run out looks like the speeds good perfect ball might have gave me a reasonable chance at that to at least still get it but at the very least a kick in eagle is going to be very beneficial no. <clears throat> so here you can see my opponent also as well did this with a marlin so um you know especially going over to the right right fairway you know you can get the ball a little bit longer i almost did that for you guys but it's almost you know the same argument we we get such a rough angle going over to the right that there's really no benefit to me going over that way now my opponent you know especially with a marlin ball it's going to make things a little bit more challenging in this tour um, you can see how useful side spin can be on a lot of these holes. Now, there's no way of knowing whether we're going to get one of those holes where side spin is so favorable. So, you know, we might get it, we might not get it. And here you can see, you know, we don't really need to use side spin if we go out about it going there. Um, but uh, I am going to go at this a little bit more straight. Um, I usually use four and a half backspin. I'm going to come off that slightly in this situation when it's a headwind um, because we need to make sure that it still climbs up this hill. And in terms of ring play here, you're going to see me play very close to one to one. And, you know, five, five and a half rings somewhere in there should be relatively spot on. But, uh, you know, also we got to make sure that we do climb the hill. And there you can see, ah, so I just missed the hole in one, unfortunately, just came off to the edge. And uh, as I mentioned, um, you know, you do, you do want to just kind of alter the way that you play that shot based on um, the biggest thing that you need to worry about is uh, climbing up that hill and just kind of altering the spin into the headwind. So in a tailwind, you know, I might jack it up 
to five backspin. Whereas for that shot, you saw me use four and a quarter, maybe four and a, it was hard to see exactly what I did. It was around four and a quarter. And here we just have my opponent, where'd my opponent go? I've never seen my opponent just sit through a shootout. A very, 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 very short. Uh, I wonder if he just saw my shot and was like, yeah, well, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just going to the bathroom. I have no idea what just happened. I've never seen that. So, But uh, at the very least there, you know, you've seen a couple approaches there for me going into that shootout, and you can see how close we can get consistently. Um, definitely good to have a sniper for this tour. It's going to make your life a lot easier, in my opinion. There's no real guardian shots that you need a guardian for whatsoever. So good luck there uh, with that redesigned hole. Um, and... Uh, you know, be on the lookout for more. Hopefully I can get a couple more shootouts.